Correct. I'm here at the YMCA right off of Clyde Bannon Shreveport where that panel discussion that you just mentioned will be here at 8.30 this morning. I'm here with Kata's Chris Ford and uh, we're talking about crisis response right. here at this panel. Let's talk about how someone can uh, properly participate, come in to voice their concerns, some of their ideas when it comes to crisis response uh, reform in the community. Absolutely. So it is open to the public. Um, you need to register before you come, of course, just so we kind of know a head count of who's going to be uh, here. And it is, like I said, open to the public. And it's not just for CADA. You know, it's the Community Foundation is a huge partner for us. Christy and her team work diligently helping us fund these programs. And it's other uh, nonprofits, other mental health agencies. It's open to everyone. We want a complete community involvement. Let's talk about some of the concerns and ideas you want to hear from people as the community gets involved. Sure. So we will have note cards available. So once you're done hearing the panel, hearing um, what's presented in front of everybody, then you can ask questions. There will be a Q&A after everybody has speak for the community to ask and get questions answered about where crisis is going and where it's gone so far. And, uh, you know, with this crisis response panel discussion, we're talking about uh, how law enforcement right. is better serving the community and how they're using their nonprofit partners, their community partners to better help serve crisis response in the community. Uh, we'll talk more at 630 about what police officers are learning through CADA and through training to help with crisis response. Live from the YMCA in Shreveport, Michael Barnes, KSLA News 12.